hey guys so as we are in the end of the mental health uh, month today is june 30th so i wanted to record this video uh, i wanted to emphasize one of the most intimidating part of my life um predominantly it's actually uh, when i was in the second grade um i was like i moved this uh, i moved to my school from uh, once n- not me but basically my parents they did move my school from uh, one place to another school and the school which i was studying my uh, preschool or elementary you know um that was a school where we don't speak a lot of good english but we speak native language and uh, but still my curriculum was in english but yeah the written and the spoken is different so i knew a couple of words and everything but i did not know to phrase a sentence in english okay but the school i that i've been studying or uh, th- that i've moved was a convent school like how you have convents here it was a convent school where students come from a very big background they do they, they have good money and they speak this really good english they have the standard of convent okay and uh, i just pitched into the school and my whole environment my whole class they speak good english they they really only communicate in english uh, they don't communicate in the native language at all okay inside the school and um and i do not know anything in english maybe probably i could understand it but i was not able to uh, speak in english but still understanding the language is quite different when sp- people speak in phrases right and the idioms you use the real uh, english language is not uh, that easy to understand because your written is different and your spoken is different so i was not able to understand these um uh some of the are uh, you know, uh, language what they speak so I didn't have any friends. I didn't have anyone to speak with me. I didn't. I was all alone the whole um, class and everything. Then I had this uh, teacher who was a really a very strict teacher. She doesn't compromise on anything. And I have to tell you this. I was literally scared every time I see her. If she asked me something because I will not be able to reciprocate. in the language that uh she's expecting which is english because i, I do not know to reciprocate in english but i used to pee in the class in the whole in front of the whole class okay um this literally happened every day every day whenever she uh, brings me in for something if she asks me something i will not be able to answer whole crowd of the class uh, second grade uh, yeah see of course children are all small like uh, my age they do not know how to help me and uh, they all sit like that no literally nobody helped me there but uh, because of the age because they do not know what to do right so if, if i'm suffering they do not know what to do they they have not been uh, they do not know, they don't have that knowledge therefore um I go home. My mom is teaching the same school, so my mom she gets the complaint every day, and I I do I cry. I mean, I don't cry in front of my parents, and uh, I cry I cry in my room, in the four walls, I, and I cry. But okay, I don't say that you should not cry, and I don't say this incident shouldn't have happened. Okay, now the the whole crowd maybe um, thirty to forty students they are there. all the students are in different part of the country different part of the world and country and probably they might not even remember this incident that has happened to me probably if they look at me maybe they remember but they will not be thinking about that only right and it's just a passing cloud for them yes this happened that's it okay fine it, it's that way for them but these days when i passed every this routine happened one academic year completely not one or two months but literally the whole academic year literally every day it happened to me for like every day 
imagine every day happening something like this happening to you every day and it did happen to me every day and um, i had to face this i had to go back to school the next day uh, i i did not take off or I, my mom or my parents did not ask me to take off uh, i did go to the school again the next day repeat the same thing will happen at least in a week three or four times this happens okay at this as in like i pee okay because of my scariness i get scared and i i do that because if someone asks me question or if the teacher asks me question i do not know how to answer it so i do it okay and this repeated and i faced my fears i went the next day i faced the crowd i faced the crowd i faced the whole class because none of the class members other members were like this maybe i was the least student in that whole class i faced it it's such an embarrassing moment um you pee in front of the whole class right it's literally it is the most embarrassing thing right for any anyone you think now it's going to be a most embarrassing moment but i did face an embarrassment in my life okay i faced it every day i went to the school repeat i faced it again going during this intimidating phase of my life it is not that i did not i just faced it very easily you know my mom even now she's used to say my parents like my mom, my mom and dad they used to say i used to cry at night i used to have this nightmare i used to speak while i was sleeping and uh, i used to get chills or fever and you know those that one year and um, probably I, i don't remember that but my parents who were with me they did remember that and that was my most i think i did face it right so i had fever i maybe because of fever i would have taken an off but again the next day i would have gone or day or two i would have taken an off and i will go on the third day repeat it repeats with one particular year it completely repeated okay but i did not give up i did not give up the reason is the people surrounding me did not give up when i say the people surrounding me the first one was teacher the teacher is really a good person she's a good person she's a good mother she's good a, she's good wife she's a good friend and she is an excellent teacher because she was a second grade student uh, second grade teacher she had to be that vigorous and she had to be she had to tame the students now the students whoever she tamed are all in different parts of the world who are engineers doctors entrepreneurs uh, researchers they all excel in their field the reason is she tamed us all she made to she made us to face the fears she made us to made us to face uh, no what is no you have to face no not in life everything doesn't come very easy right she did teach us and she faced me as well every day there could have been a possible teacher who says no i cannot handle this student because she's so intimidating she is like this she's peeing in the class oh my god i can't do that please remove her from the class no she did not do that okay she also faced me and i also had to face her because she wanted to face me i had to face her okay probably she remembers me very well i am i still know she came for my wedding for my husband's and my wedding i did tell my husband as well this incident and i was so happy that she came and she really greeted me she hugged me uh she's a really good person which i came to know over the years like from my second grade i did not know that she was a very great teacher but i mean very great person but as as and when years passed when i went to the fourth grade i came to know about her through my one of my friend that she's really a great person because she was a, she was a neighbor my friend was a neighbor to her she was really a good person so over the years i understood and today i'm here i wanted to share my experience i think i ready to face my fears i am ready to face all these insults which are literally okay all right 
it's okay that you face embarrassment it's okay that you face insults it's okay that you face depression it's okay that you face um you know rejections it's okay that you face sadness it's okay that you've lost some connections you've lost some relationships you've lost some friends it's absolutely okay guys it's okay that you feel sad sadness is part of your life it's part of our body a body needs sadness a body needs happiness a body doesn't only need happiness it it's something that you have to understand okay i think nowadays people are like emphasizing on happiness be happy choose happiness happy happy you life is not that your body doesn't need that you need to cry that's why god has given to us and tear glands if you don't cry if you don't um, uh, you know shed tears at all there's some other significance for that as well there might be i don't know but there might be right so everything is given for a purpose in this world so it's okay that you cry if you don't want to cry in front of people go to your room go to your shower if you don't have a room go to the shower open the shower and cry it out you want to be there for one hour cause be cry it out if you are a man or a woman or trans or whatever lgbt regardless of the gender you can cry okay you can you will you should cry you should feel sadness you should feel depression you should feel everything if you're depressed if you're sad take your vehicle take your car or take a walk take a run go out you might feel it people you might see people you might see animal you might see anything any bird which changes your mind in a situation that could change your mind you would learn a lot if you go out of the home okay let's embrace mental health let's embrace sadness let's embrace depression let's face it facing facing it is the only solution that you can move to the next phase and it's cycle it happens you cannot stop depression you cannot stop sadness it's a part of your life which is going to be there for with you until we go away from this earth okay your body needs it and you cannot avoid it so let's face it let's learn the process trust the process and go with it all right happy mental month guys i hope my experience really helps you a lot i do not know if you guys have literally a worst experience than this if you do have please comment below thank you